uh, as you know, University of Illinois owned this property, and this is a very, very challenging, difficult uh, dealing with uh, the administrations in, in Springfield to, to get authorization to really put it under uh, local park uh, authority. And I just want to thank all those who worked so hard in the vineyards going back many, many years. Uh, Alderman Barnett, uh, uh, Alderman Fioretti, uh, uh, other Alderman, previous Alderman worked very hard because it's a very legal and complex issue when the state owns a facility like University of Illinois, and then how do you transfer to the city of Chicago? It is amazing. Uh, it is amazing the bureaucracy and the red tape you have to go through it, but the stamina of the community realizing how important schools are, uh, school built by TIF, and this is built by TIF, $18 million. If you didn't have TIF money, this would never be built, to be very frank. You could do all the individual fundraising, you could never build this park. And so that's why TIFs are here uh, to be used to renovate and rebuild communities in the quality of life issues, uh, uh, from schools to parks, uh, um, to libraries, uh, uh, to manufacturing. Each district has a different uh, set of priorities, uh, which are really important to rebirth of communities. And each community is their own neighborhood, they have their own uniqueness and character. I don't like opening Park 542. It just it sounds like New York. <laughs> 542. That's, uh, uh, I'm, thank God the, the name uh, will recognize someone who made a wonderful contribution here in the city of Chicago, which is really important and illustrates the commitment that people have. People make the difference in communities. Everybody thinks maybe the mayor, the alderman, all these elected officials, but it's people like yourself. Uh, who, who, who wanted to work on behalf of this wonderful uh, uh, playground that uh, encompasses uh, Children's Play Lot Plaza, the dog park, open lawns, viewing, illustrates the native landscaping, all that goes into it and, and rebuilds the community. So I just want to thank all those that are here. At the same time, uh, we will be an announcing here uh, dealing with uh, making Chicago the most environmentally friendly city. Uh, everybody says in the nation, I want to do the world. I think it's much bigger than just here. And that commitment is uh, changing the urban landscape, and that includes all the highways. You know, we spend special teams, uh, we do, uh, to beautiful highways. Uh, 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 Jerry Roper is here. Uh, with Bill Curtis, Chicago and Chamber of Commerce uh, are here together uh, in regards to adoption uh, all along the highways because that's that's when you first see the city when you come into a highway system and of course the state has responsibility but we think we have a special responsibility so we have companies and individuals and corporations and not-for-profits to adopt parts of the highway which are really important uh, to upkeep and show that when you drive in Chicago you have pride in the city and we send uh, our, we send our own teams on there to clean up uh, many times the, uh, uh, the parts of the uh, expressways which are really important and so that's why green space is a commitment that we can make. And also uh, dealing with the, uh, railroads. Uh, we have a railroad committee that looks at coming in constantly in and out. Of, uh, uh, people use Metro in and out. And also the CTA to make sure uh, the cleanliness and no abandoned buildings, graffiti, and all the other things that go with uh, happens in here in the city. So that's really important. Uh, as you know, I love trees. I think trees really define a city. Uh, uh, we're really fortunate that we have planted, uh, in the fact in 2010 we have planted 20,000 new trees. In 2009 we saw a record total of 30,500 uh, trees planted throughout the city. Result of the city, sister agencies, community organizations, not-for-profits, Gateway Green, all of us working together. <clears throat> and since 1989 we planted over uh, 600,000 trees. Uh, here in Chicago, uh, as part of a 3.5 million, uh, million trees, which serve to remove pollution on a daily basis, reduce uh, our cooling costs, increase property values. We all know that. But unfortunately, uh, we have a, a very unusual summer. Uh, we've had severe storms, <clears throat> pests, and disease. So that's had a huge effect upon the number of trees that have been destroyed uh, 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 here in the last two or three months here in the city of Chicago. So, like anything else, uh, we are looking at uh, our priorities with this, and, and to me, Gateway Green has always been a strong partnership, a public-private uh, partnership throughout the, the, our programs, and to establish the Tree Partnership Program to Green and Beautify Chicago. The Tree Partnership Program was formed in 2008 through the generous assistance of Bank of America, 
with the goal of planting 15,000 trees by 2015. Additionally, I'm very happy that Chicago Gateway Green will be enhancing its effort to beautify for Chicago by forming the Chicago Tree Corporation to encourage volunteer tree plantings throughout the city. <clears throat> Two years ago, we established Chicago Trees, an initiative to increase the overall count of trees and help us plant and care for more trees in every community of the city of Chicago. In the past, the city has had great success in levering, leveraging corporate sponsorship to enhance the landscaping of our roadways throughout the city. We will build on the spirit of that success uh, together to, con to continue greening all of our communities. And I think this is an exciting time because <clears throat> this, uh, our spokesperson will be Bill Curtis, Chicago uh, Gateway Green founder and executive uh, of Curtis Productions. Of course, we have Jerry Roper, Chicago Law Chamber of Commerce, who have helped us tremendously. So a dedication to this wonderful park. At the same time, a, a new initiative dealing with tree partnerships, uh, having people donate uh, their time and effort and money uh, uh, would really help us go a long way here in the city of Chicago. Thank you very much.